اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم آئی سیک ریفیوج وتھ اللہ المائٹی فرام سیٹن دا ریجیکٹڈ ون بسم اللہ ہر رحمان الرحیم بائی دا نیم آف اللہ دا بینیفیشنٹ دا مرسیفل الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلاحت و سلام علی محمد و علی علیہ وسلم ٹوڈے وی ول اسٹڈی الیونتھ اینڈ ٹویلتھ رکو آف چیپٹر فور سورہ النساء ہاور فسٹ آف آل لیٹس ریکال وٹ وی ریڈ ان دا پریویس سیشن نمبر ون سم پیپل کلیم فیل بٹ فار سیٹلمنٹ آف دیئر افیئرس دے گو ٹو دا ایٹرنٹس آف سیکٹن انسٹیڈ آف اللہ المائٹی اینڈ ہز میسنجر صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم دس از دا پریکٹیکل مینیفیسٹیشن آف ہپوکریسی ہائی ایور اٹ از آبلیکیٹری فار دا کلیم آف ٹروتھ ٹو ریمین اسٹیٹ فاسٹ ان اسپریڈنگ دا ٹرو میسج دا نیکسٹ ون از دا پروکلیمیشن آف فیتھ از ناٹ ٹرو انلیس ون گیوز ہائیسٹ پریورٹی ٹو اللہ المائٹی اینڈ ہز نوبل میسنجر صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم ان ایچ اینڈ ایوری اسپیکٹ آف لائف نیکسٹ از دوز پیپل ہو ایڈہیئر ٹو دا کمانڈس آف اللہ المائٹی اینڈ ہز میسنجر صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم وتھ پیور ہارٹ اللہ المائٹی وڈ گیو دیم کمپینین شپ آف ان امتا علیہم ڈیٹ از دوز ہو آر سکسیزفل اٹ از مینڈیٹری فار دا بلیورس ٹو ریمین کوشیس اباؤٹ نان بلیورس بائی ٹیکنگ ڈیو سیف کار اینڈ ایف اینی بیٹر لائک سچویشن ارائز دین فائٹ ان دا وے آف اللہ especially those people who are wistful for hereafters. They shall strive with their lives and properties, whether they are killed or become victorious. In both cases, Allah Almighty will bestow them with great compensation. And the last one is, the people of true belief, they strive for the approbation of Allah Almighty and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whereas the adversities of truth are endeavoring in the path of Satan. With this imploration that may Allah Almighty help us in understanding the true insight of the Holy Quran by the grace of His beloved Prophet Rahmat Talil Alameen Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let us start today's session Ku number 11 and 12 comprising verses 77 to 91. Alam tara ilal lazina ki lalahum kuffu aidiyakum wa akimu salata wa atu zakat. Have you not seen those who were told to abstain their hands and establish salah and implement zakat? Falamma kutiba alayhumul kitalu iza farikum minhum yakshuna nasa ka khashyatillahi au ashadda khashyata. When fighting was prescribed upon them, then a group among them became apprehensive of people as that of the apprehensiveness of Allah Almighty or more apprehensive than that. Kuffu, restrain, khashyata, anxious. In the previous verse, it was clearly told that true believers only fight for the cause of Allah Almighty and His Messenger. Therefore, it is necessary for them to combat with the satanic allies, irrespective of their apparent power and superiority. Now in this verse, those people are discussed who proclaim belief. They were told to refrain their hand from one and other and establish salah and adhere to the system of zakat. However, when fighting was approved for them, a group among them got scared. وَقَالُوا رَبَّنَا لِمَا قَتَبْتَ عَلَيْنَ الْكِتَالِ لَوْلَا أَخْرْتَنَا إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ And they said, Our Lord, why have you prescribed fighting for us? Why did not you give us respite for a while? Kul matau dunya qaleel wal akhiratu khairul limanit taqa wala tuzlamuna fatila Say, provision of the world is a little and the hereafter is better for the one who is mindful. And no injustice is done to you, even that of a threat. Ajalin, a term laid down. Fatila, as much as hair on a date. 
those scared people implore to their Lord to give them more respite so that their strength might increase and they could fight with the enemies easily. Such like people shall know that the status of worldly possessions is secondary, while bliss of hereafter is for the mindful ones. And no injustice is done to anyone even of the hair on the date. Aina ma takunu yudrik kumul mautu walau kuntum fi burujim mashegi adal. Wherever you be, death will overtake you, even if you are in secure stronghold. Stronghold. Wa in to sibhum hasanatui yakulu hazihi min in dilla. Wa in to sibhum. सही आ तुम यकूलो हाज ही मिन इन देगा एंड इफ सम गुडनेस कम्स टू देम दे से दैट इट इज फ्रॉम अल्लाह अल माइटी एंड इफ सम डिजास्टर स्ट्राइक्स देम दे से इट इज फ्रॉम यू द फर्स्ट अंडरलाइन वर्ड इज युद रिकुम विल रीच यू बुरुजन सेफ वेयर हाउस मशैयद टॉफरिंग लॉफ्टी these people are told if they are appalled to face the enemy because of the fear of death then it should be known to them that death is that reality from which no one can escape when the time comes it will grab you no matter whatever you be whether in the fortified castles or in the protective place in chapter 2 surah al juma verse 8 it is mentioned tell them the death from which you flee will certainly overtake you then you will be returned to him who fully knows what is hidden and what is manifest thereupon he will let you know all that he used to do their perception is that when they are blessed with something they say that it is from allah almighty while if some affliction happens to them they associate it with the messenger the verse continues kul kulum min indillah say everything is from allah almighty famali ha ula il qaum la yaqaduna yafqahuna hadisa what has happened to the nation it does not seem that they would understand any statement yakaduna it seems looks like yafqahun comprehend tell them may it be a blessing or calamity everything is in accordance with the law of allah almighty their attitude is analogous to that of hypocrites due to their prevalence towards their desires they are unable to understand the reality ma asabaka min hasnatin fa min allah wa ma wa ma asabaka min sayyiatin fa min nafsika whatever benefit comes to you it is from allah almighty and whatever calamity strikes upon you it is because of your own selves wa arsalna ka lin nasi rasula wa qafa billahi shahida and we have sent you as the messenger for people and allah is enough as witness a divine law has been clearly stated in this verse that whatever good reaches to us it is from allah almighty while any affliction upon us is because of our own deeds generally when this law is told to the people they reply that they do not remember any such actions due to wish they be punished our remembrance or oblivion has no ground reality we are humans that is insan which means one who is forgetful it is allah's blessing that he has sent his messenger to recall the people from limbo train them and educate them to attain their purpose of life allah's messenger are the represent allah's messengers are the representative of allah almighty their adherence is subjected with allah's command 
as given in chapter 4 surah an nisa verse 44 translation is and we did not send any messenger except to be obeyed by permission of allah almighty and if when they wronged themselves they had come to you and asked safeguard of allah almighty and the messenger had asked safeguard for them they would have found allah almighty oft returning merciful may yuti rasula faqat ata allah whoever obeys the messenger verily he has obeyed allah almighty woman tawalla fama arsalna ka alaihim hafiza and whoever turns away and we have not sent you their invigilator following of the messenger is in fact the adherence of allah almighty as mentioned in this verse the duty of the messenger is to convey allah's message to his creatures there is no amalgamation of self interest or motive of the messenger nor the seek for any reward from the people for the noble cause now those who receive the message it is their obligation to accept the reality and adapt their lives in accordance to it but instead people do not take heed the messengers are not responsible for negation of the people in chapter 5 surah al maida verse 92 it is given obey allah and obey the messenger and beware but if you turn away then know well that over messenger had merely to deliver the message clearly and they say they are obedient faiza barazu min indika bayyata taifatum minhum ghayr allazi taqulu but when they move out from you a group among them make plans at night in opposition regarding what you said wallahu yaktubu ma yubayyituna and allah almighty inscribes what they have plotted at night fa arid anhum wa tawakkal ala allah wa kafa billahi wakila so avert them and have trust in allah almighty and allah almighty is enough as advocate the first underlined word is taatum obedience bayyata plan by night you bayituna they plan by night people of dubious character whenever they meet the messenger of allah almighty they proclaim about their obedience but at night they along with their fellows make plans against the message of truth they may be thinking that their actions are hidden from others but how can they be hidden from allah almighty if we have conviction that allah almighty is everywhere and is cognizant of us then how can one perform such actions in chapter 4 surah an nisa verse 108 it is given they can hide from men but they cannot hide from allah almighty for he is with them even when they hold nightly concerts that are unpleasing to allah allah almighty encompasses all their doings the people who are delivering allah's message they put their trust in allah almighty his assistance help and support is enough for men they are fully aware of this reality that the schemes of these hypocrites cannot affect them and instead the plots of these pretenders will become hurdles and distress for themselves have they not contemplated on the holy quran and had it been from anyone other than allah almighty they would definitely find in it major contradictions they ponder surely would find one of the miracle of the holy quran is that when a person ponders on it with neutral mind he becomes astounded by its harmony and its 
and synchronization. Its verses neither antagonize with each other nor do they negate one another. The realities, formulas mentioned in it and its sequence shows that this masterpiece is not the creation of any human being, but instead it is from the great being who has complete knowledge and is aware of everything and that is Allah Almighty. In chapter 38, Surah Saad, verse 29, it is given, This is a book which we have sent down upon you, a blessed book, for them to ponder upon its signs and for men of intellect to accept advice. And had this book been crafted by any men, then it would have many inconsistencies. It is the alchemy for every nation in this world to benefit from Quran. And whoever contemplates on it can get the wisdom according to his level of understanding. But those who stray away from research and contemplation and have limited their perception and intellect, how can they be able to get benefit from it? In chapter 47, Surah Muhammad, verse 24, it is elaborated, will they not then ponder over the Quran or are their locks upon their hearts? And when comes to them an information about peace or fear, they spread it around. Minhum la alimahul lazina yas tambitunahu minhum. And had they referred it to messenger and those of authority among them, then the ones who draw right deduction from it would have known about it. Walaula fatlullahi alaikum warahmatuhu lat tabatu mut shaitana illa kalila. And if there was no favor of Allah Almighty, upon you and his mercy, you would have followed Satan except for a few. Azau diplogged yastam bitunahu, draw correct conclusion. The condition of the people without reasoning is that whenever some news arrive to them, they disseminate it to others without any investigation. This action is very odious and undesirable as it may create distance and aberrance in the society. The correct way is that if some information regarding safety or fear reaches someone, it is it be referred to the messenger and the people of authority so that they may find out the reality and an appropriate actions may be taken if so required. Right now, in our society, this practice is very common. In social media, a message from someone may get viral within no time and create the pain and discomfort for many people. How better it would be if we give the information to the concerned people so that they could find the veracity of the information. فَقَاتِلُوا fi سَبِيلِ And fight in the way of Allah. لَا تُكَلَّفُوا إِلَّا and you are not responsible except for yourself and encourage the believers Asallahu ain yakfa basal lazina kafaru Perhaps Allah Almighty will restrain the might of disbelievers Wallahu ashaddu basam wa ashaddu tankila and Allah's might is greater and stronger to suppress Harazi motivate your kuffa would restrain basan might tankila to overwhelm when fighting in the way of allah almighty has been prescribed then it should be obeyed without any hesitation the duty of the messenger is to deliver the allah's message to his people and to encourage the believers for all those matters which are beneficial for their worldly and hereafter lives. The believers should not be impressed by the apparent power of the disbelievers. 
all the power rests with Allah Almighty. Whenever He desires, He can decimate their strength. Mai yashfa shafa atan hasanatai ya kullahu nasibu minha. Whoever intercedes for a good cause will have a share from it. Mai yashfa shafa atan sayi atai ya kullahu kiflu minha. And whoever intercedes for an evil will have a liability therefrom. وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْمْ مُكِيْتَ And Allah Almighty is over everything, a keeper. كِفْلُ Equal responsibility. مُكِيْتَن Keeper. Those people who are standing firmly with the devotees will get the benefit while those who are striving with the bad ones will get the share from their badness. وَإِذَا خُوِ يِتُمْ بِتَاهِيَاتٍ فَحَيُّ بِأَحْسَنَا مِنْهَا أَوْ رَدُّهَا And when you are saluted with greetings, so greet with one better than it or return it. إِنَّ اللَّهَ قَانَ عَلَىٰ كُلِّ شَيْنْ حَسِيبًا Indeed, Allah Almighty is the jackaner of everything. بِتَاهِيَاتٍ Salutation It has been mentioned in this verse that even in war, one should answer the greetings with salutation. And its second meaning is that whenever someone greets you with Assalamu Alaikum, then greet him with Wa Alaikum Assalam or pray for him with better wordings. Assalamu Alaikum means that may there be peace upon you from me. Similarly, the second person also greets with Wa Alaikum Assalam. So it is the answer from him with the same zeal. According to the teachings of the Holy Prophet وسلم, we should initiate the greetings irrespective of the second person being younger or older. Similarly, whenever one enters in his home, shall greet everyone. Allahu la ilaha illahu Allah Almighty There is no deity except Him. La yajma annakum ila yawmil qiyamati la reiba fi. He surely gathers you to the day of resurrection, about which there is no uncertainty. Waman as taku min Allahi hadisa, and who is truer than Allah Almighty in statement? We should remember that there is no one beside Allah who can fulfill our needs, so we should ascribe them to Him. In the day of resurrection, Allah Almighty gathers us. And we get the compensation according to our deeds. For Malakum, Phil Munafikina, Fi Ataini, Wallahu Ar Kasahum Bima Kasabu. So, what is with you about hypocrites? You are two parties. And Allah Almighty has reverted for what they earned. Aturi Duna Antahdu, Man Adalallah. Do you intend to guide that one has drifted away from Allah Almighty? And whoever drifts away from Allah Almighty, you will never find a way for him. Cast them back, made them fall back. O oh believers, the mentality of hypocrites is now clear to you due to their deeds. They are unable to get awareness about reality. If they do not wish to repent and accept the messenger of truth and put right their course of action, then your endeavors for their corrections would not bear any fruit. Because according to Allah's law, the one cannot get the guidance unless he is willing to seek it. In chapter 6, Surah Al-Inam, verse 125, it is mentioned, so whosoever is willing that Allah Almighty gives him guidance, he makes his heart wide open for Islam, and whomsoever wills to let go astray, he makes his heart straight and constricted if he was climbing to the sky. As such, Allah lays the scorch on the unbelievers. Vaddu lau takfaruna kama kafaru. They intend you would disbelieve as they disbelieved 
so you would be alike fala tattakhizu minhum all ya hatta yuhajiru fi sabilillah so don't take from among them friends until they migrate in the way of allah almighty fa in tawalla fa in tawallaw fa khuzuhum waqtuluhum haysu wajadtumuhum then if they turn away then seize them and fight them wherever you find them wala tattakhizu minhum walayum wala nasira and take not among them any friend nor a helper these hypocrites want you to be diverted from the correct path so that you become like them therefore do not take them as your friends until they abandon their dubious positions and immigrate towards allah almighty and his messenger and if they don't do there is an enmity between you and them they are your adversaries and with rivals friendships are not made rather a distance is established safety measures are taken and preparations are made for battling with them illa lazina yasiluna ila qaumin bainakum wa bainahum misaqum except for those who seem with a nation between yourself and whom is a treaty aw ja'ukum hasirat saduruhum ay yuqatilukum aw yuqatilu qaumahum or those who come to you their hearts strained at fighting you or fighting with their own nation walau sha allah lasallatahum alaykum fala qatalukum and if allah had willed he could have given them ascendance over you so they would have fought you the first underlined word is yasiluna join hasirat confining lasallatahum given them control power however in certain situations you are restrained to fight them especially when these people join with those cantons whom you have a treaty of peace or some among them come to you because of being tired of fighting you and with their own people and they don't want to persuade it further and want to live with you in harmony and peace verse continues fa ini tazalukum falam yuqatilukum wa alqaw ilaykum assalam so if they remove themselves from you and do not fight you and offer you peace fama ja'ala allah lakum alayhim sabila and then allah almighty has not made for you a cause against them in both of these situations they should be allowed to live in serenity and no outrage should be imposed on them satajiduna akhirina yuriduna ay yamanu kum wa yamanu qaumahu you will find others who intend to have security from you and security from their nation kullama raddu ila al fitnati aur kisu fiha every time they are returned to trials they plunge in it fa illam ya tazilukum wa yulqu ilaykum as salama wa ya kuffu aydiyahum so if they don't withdraw from you and offer you peace and restrain their hands fa khuzuhum waqtuluhum haysu saqiftumuhum then seize them and fight them wherever you overtake them wa ulaikum ja'alna lakum alayhim sultanam mubina and these we have made for you against them a clear authorization among the two parties of hypocrites which have been told in the previous verse there is another group who wants to remain at peace with the believers and with their nations but in case of any chaos and appearance they become the part of it if such like people do not mend their ways offer you peace and restrain their hands against you then treat them as your enemy and take all necessary measures in accordance to overcome them a summary of both rukus number 
the true believers combat is only for the approbation of Allah Almighty and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam they fight satanic powers irrespective of their mightiness and superiority number 2 a group of proclaimers of belief remained happy in performing routine activities but when they were told to strive in the way of Allah Almighty they became dreadful of their adversaries and started making lame excuses because of the terror of death whatever good we receive it is from Allah Almighty while any pain or distress is because of our own deeds hypocrites proclaim of their faith in front of the messenger but whenever they move out from his company they start plotting against the truth they forget that Allah Almighty is a witness over everything whenever some news come to them they spread it around without investigating it which is absolutely wrong and illegal action due to which some fear and obscurity may prevail in the society and the last one is hypocrites are more dangerous than apparent enemy therefore it is an obligation upon the believers to consider them adversaries and take due precautions against them and if situation warrants then fight them in accordance with commands of Allah Almighty and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam may Allah Almighty help us in understanding the true insight of the holy quran and may we act upon it according to the pattern of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sadaqallahul aliyul azim allah spoke truth the exalted the great sallallahu taala ala habibihi muhammadin wa alihi wasallam